Jen and I were watching YouTube today, and we're watching this creator that we watch a fair bit. He spends a lot of money. Being the smart wife that she is, she said, people watch this to see how much money he has by how much money he spends. Now he's buying ATVs, UTVs, trucks, cars, land, all kinds of stuff. She says, does he miss make videos to show how much money he has? And she followed that up with, why don't people watch videos where they actually show you how to do something? Which led me to today. All right, today we are going to make a Faraday cage out of an ammo box. So we made our way to one of my favorite places here in Ontario. That's Princess Auto. For my American friends, that's Harbor Freight. What we got, this is Princess Auto is our Harbor Freight. Anyway, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna pick up an ammo can, not just any ammo can, it's gotta be metal. And it's gonna be a 50 caliber one because that's the bigger one. And uh, we're gonna make a Faraday cage. All right, we are back. So we paid $24.99 for this ammo box. At the uh, government's portion, we were at $28.24. And this is what we ended up with, a 50 caliber metal ammo can. We're gonna head back home, because we're 40 minutes from home. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a Faraday cake. All right, we are back from our Canadian Harbor Freight, also known as Princess Auto. Like I showed you before, we got ourselves a, well, it's not marked, but it's labeled a 50 cal ammo can. We got some JB Weld, we got some tin foil. We got some cardboard that I already pre-cut earlier. Now we got to prep this just a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to make one. Reason for a Faraday cage, and I, again, I don't get political on this channel, but I'm going to tell you that uh, the state of today, what a Faraday cage is for, is to protect your electronics from electromagnetic pulse and or solar flares that come from the sun. They can fry your electronics, whether it is your cell phone, two-way radios, anything like that it can all just be wiped out, um, as can some of your vehicles. Now, we're not talking about vehicles today, we're just talking about small items, small electronic items. Like we have a AM FM shortwave radio, runs on batteries. If it's not protected, it's gonna fry, and then if power goes out for whatever reason, or God forbid, the powers that be in this world decide they want to throw some big objects around. These radios would be fried. You'd get no information whatsoever. So like I showed you, this was 25 bucks. Kind of got ripped off on the JB Weld here. It said the price was $8. Turned out to be 12 And this is free. I stole it from my wife, as was the cardboard. So I'm going to get you guys set up over here. I'm going to show you what we have to do. All right, first thing we want to do here is get the top removed from the ammo can. If you just turn it sideways, it just sits on a slip hinge. Push it over, and it comes off. I'm going to set that aside for now. We're going to work on this piece right here. If you look in here, it's got a rubber seal to somewhat weatherproof this. Keep your ammo dry. We're going to take a screwdriver, and we're going to try and peel this rubber seal out of here. And hopefully we can do this in one piece without leaving any residue behind. I don't know if there's any residue. I don't know if this is glued in or pressed in, but we're about to find out. Come on now. There we go. Oh, it is pressed in. It is not glued in. Cast that aside. So now we have no residue to have to sand down, so that's perfect. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the tin foil and we're gonna put it in this crease right here, all the way around. And what that's gonna do is keep the conductivity of the box uniform all the way around. The magnetic pulse won't penetrate the metal. I'm gonna explain what the cardboard's for in a minute, but you want to keep everything out. You cannot use wood, you can't use plastic, it's gotta be metal. All we're going to do is fold this up in a roll, fairly tight. We're going to start pressing this in all the way around here. I'm debating whether to JB weld that in there so it doesn't come out. First, we're going to just try and press it in and see if we can make it work.
I don't think we're going to need to use the JB Weld at all, to be honest with you. Not tell her how much we're using here. All right, let me show you what I got. So now we have the tin foil going all the way around. What you're trying to do is create a seal so that none of the pulse will come under the lid and go inside. So that's going to sit on there tight. Now we're going to put the cardboard in. Let's see if we can do this one hand. Now we're going to start with the ends. Now the cardboard, the only purpose that the cardboard serves is so that your electronics, which is your phone, don't touch the metal side. If it's not protected, it's touch the metal sides, then the pulse will go right through and destroy your phone. That's all the cardboard does. So we're going to put our ends in. I'm going to try and do this one-handed again. Put our ends in. Now, as I said, I pre-cut these earlier. So that they would pressure fit. And you want it to go all the way to the bottom. You don't want any gap down there. Because you don't want any bare metal showing. This one's going on the other side here. Bear with me. It's a little tough with one hand. Okay, so we got that one in there now. The only thing left is the bottom. All right. So now as you can see, everything is tight all the way around. Nothing's glued in. So if I ever wanted to take this out or if I want to make the cardboard thicker, I can. So what I didn't bring out was the top piece. So this piece here has got to sit in here. And then now the box will be complete. All right, so we've now got the top glued in. Time to give this a try. Phone is on. Turned all the way up. Let's call it and see what happens. Again, you want to keep it off the sides. This cardboard is there for nothing more than to keep your electronics off the metal so that it can't pass through the electronics. That's it. Let's see what happens. You have reached the voicemail box of Barry Johnson. There, so we did not hear it ring. Let's see if we have a missed call. Let's take our phone out. Nope, not even a missed call. So, if it blocked the cell phone signal, will it block an EMP? That we don't know for sure. One thing we do know for sure is death and taxes. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. Maybe you learned something as Jen suggested. Anyway, you all know what to do. Again, if you like this type of content, leave me a comment down below. We may be changing things in the future, so let us know. We'll see you on the next one. Later. So we have made our way to one of our favorite places. Jen said that being the smart wife that she is, 